Hi everyone, welcome again. I'm going to teach you how to test using the multimeter one of the most component in electronics. Power inductors or chip inductors. Literally, I'm going to teach you how to test it the right way. Using the ohm option, continuity option, and also understanding LCR meter. So my friends, why this coil or inductor is very important in every motherboard? Because it's used for more purposes. Filtering purposes, energy storage, it blocks the noise and alternating currents, and it allows just a stable current to pass. And this inductors, we find it everywhere in the motherboard, in every circuit. And also we use it to detect the short circuit very fast. And I'll show you in the end how to use it to detect the short circuit. And also I'm going to show you what all these numbers means. So guys, welcome to the episode number 13. For new followers, of course, our goal and purpose is to test 1000 components. And by the way, my friends, I have decided to start testing components based on your comments. You get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments, so don't hesitate to share your ideas. And please, if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work, the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. So guys, before diving into testing, remember these three rules about inductor testing. So while testing, we can get normal reading, we can get open line, or we can get zero reading. Of course, zero ohm, okay? Open line or normal. The normal reading while testing any inductor is between 0 0.1 ohm to 0 0.4 ohm. So this is the normal reading. Means here, good, the inductor is good. But if you get up line, means the inductor is broken, damaged. If you get zero ohm, means what? Coil is shorted. Okay, the coil is shorted inside the inductor. Let's go to testing. So guys, let's select 200 ohm because the resistance of inductors is always below 4 ohm for this kind of inductor. So let's begin with this one here, one probe here, another here. Do you see guys, we get 1 ohm, good, good inductor. This one for example, okay, one point, okay, one ohm. Good. Let's pass to the bigger ones over here. One ohm. Good. This one. One ohm. This one. Amazing. The last one. Do you see, guys? Means the inductors within the range. Okay, my friends, the resistance is within the range. We have one ohm to four ohm. Sorry, this is wrong here. Okay, we find one ohm. For those who ask me about those numbers here, basically guys, here we have 4R7, means 4.7 microhenries. Here we have 2.2, 2R2 microhenries. Here we have 1.0 or 1 microhenries. Also here, R is a decimal number. Here we have R36 means point. 36 microhenries. 
So guys, when you find, for example, for R7, this mean, means for 0.7 microhenries, okay? 2R2 equal to 2.2, also microhenries. If you find, for example, 0R40, for example, equal to 0.4 microhenries. And for example, 1R0 equal to 1 microhenries. So guys, basically, to check the microhenries, we need LCR measure. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have the RCR meter, but RCR meter basically is used to measure the inductance capacitance and if resistance. Once I have one, I will make another video about how to use it to check the microhenries in the inductor. So please, if you have an LCR meter and just and you have, for example, an inductor, look to the three numbers where R means decimal point, R.7 microhenries, okay, 2.2. You can use it to check this kind of inductor. But guys, as we have seen before, many of you ask, what about a failed inductor? Basically here, I have a failed inductor, this one. Basically, if we use the ohm meter and check this one, we have to find one ohm okay about one ohm but let's check it this one is failed let's check it using the ohm meter and let's find out basically always we put always we put the multimeter to 200 ohm okay let's find out my friend do you see guys nothing we have up line up line means what up lines my friend means broken means the inductor is open okay the inductor is open but for this one for example guys if we test it of course we're gonna find between 1 ohm to 4 ohm let's check as you can see in the multimeter about 1 ohm good this is good inductor and in terms of microhenries we have here 6r8 means 6.8 microhenries Guys, what about testing using the continuity option or the beep mode? So let's use the beep mode and find out, okay? So basically guys, by using the beep mode, we will get a continuity and a reading about zero. If we check this one, the good one, for example, do you see, we get zero, means it's good. But this one here, we will not get anything because of course it's failed let's find out you see guys nothing in the multimeter no beep no really broken one so guys of course in this kind of failed inductor you will find the power in one side but in the other side you will find zero for example let's assume that so this is basically a 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. This is a 3 volt channel and 5 volt channel. Here, good. But this one, you will find 5 volt in this side, but in this side, you will find 0 volt. Means the motherboard will be a dead board, partially. So guys, let's check all those inductor for beginner in order to understand very clearly using the continuity option. So this one, good, continuity, this one, good, this one, good, this one, good. Guys, now what about the short circuit? I told you in the beginning of the video that we use the inductors to detect the short circuit. Yes, my friend. We know that inductors are always, always connected to the power rail. Means connected to the voltage, not to the ground. So if you find any inductor that is shorted directly to the ground, means that circuit is shorted. So let's put the black probe in the ground, everywhere in the ground, and let's check these inductors. This one, for example, 
You see, guys, we have a high reading. Okay? This one here, high reading. This one here, oh, low reading. We have nine in the multimeter. Is this a short? Let's check this one also. Is this a short, my friend? No, it's not a short, my friend. Why? Because these inductors belong to the CPU circuit. Okay, guys? These inductors belong to the CPU circuit. That's why we get a beep in the multimeter. But if I remove, for example, the CPU circuit, okay, if I remove it, we will measure here a higher reading. So let's remove the CPU circuit, my friend. Like this, the CPU circuit is removed. Now let's find out. Let's check now. Do you see, guys? We get a higher reading. This one also a higher reading. Why? Because we remove the CPU circuit. But once you connect the CPU circuit, okay, guys. Now the CPU circuit is connected. Let's find out again. Oh. Low reading means what? Means this is normal. This is basically is the resistance of the data line inside the CPU or of the CPU. So guys, what you have to remember? Basically, here we have ESIMT inductors or power inductors. Also, we call it cheap inductors what you have to remember is the purpose basically for the purpose we use it for what for filtering we use it also for energy storage to block the noise to block the EC the alternating current and so here block and the only use or it allowing the stable current okay to pass and also what you have to remember is those three rules so the normal reading using ohm option is between one ohm to four ohm when you get a zero line or when you get up line means broken you have to replace it of course to replace it using the same lot number or same reference here we have for r7 use for r7 for example for this one that is broken we have one r0 we have to use one r0 and if you get zero on means the coil is shorted the coil inside the inductor is shorted and of course for inductors always R here R guys means R means decimal point okay decimal point okay so R for R7 means 4.7 etc and we have seen that LCR meter is the meter that is used to measure what to measure inductors and what and capacitors and of course resistors so guys i hope that you understand please don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell icon and don't forget that our big goal is to reach 1000 components different components so please for anyone who want to thank me the best way to say thank you for me is by liking sharing the video and of course hit the bell icon because i upload in a daily basis one different video on how to test one electron component so guys thank you very much and see you with another component